Verimark is, is starting to become a, a bigger solution for, the, for those corporate environments. And people are wondering why Verimark over all the other fingerprint readers that we have today. Uh, and specifically, it's really three different pillars that you could say, this is the reason why you'd wanna move forward with the Verimark solution. And uh, one, obviously with the Windows Hello uh, factorization. So now you can use it to uh, access your Microsoft devices. Uh, more importantly though, is being that we are also certified for FIDO U2F, which also means that you can use our Verimark key solution for uh, standardizing yourself on maybe uh, certain services that say, hey, you can use two-factor authentication and now you could use our Verimark reader to uh, apply yourself in those solutions. So a Gmail or Facebook, um, essentially in those settings, you can now use our Verimark reader. Um, and then most importantly though, is, is what we do to really secure your fingerprint onto the Verimark or specifically on the host device. Um, and how we get into why the Verimark and that story is essentially a few, few reasons. Um, one, your fingerprint actually gets saved onto a TEE, Trusted Executive Environment, which is on the chip itself on the host. So extremely hard to hack. Um, and then more importantly from there is that the fingerprint reader is actually not even saving a picture of your fingerprint itself. It's actually saving small slivers, an algorithmic template, if you will, um, really allowing you to, to have a safe print onto your device. And more importantly, something that's not going to be able to be hacked or if someone were to find a way to take that off that TE environment, um, essentially not being able to recreate it. So anti-spoofing, I guess, as you will. So with Verimark, we also standardize to the actual um, what, what federal standards are for biometrics. Specifically what I mean by that is uh, two measurements, false acceptance rate and false rejection rate. So essentially meaning for false acceptance rate, how many times is your fingerprint actually gonna work? Um, and honestly, we, we stick to the below 3% standard for that. And then false rejection rate is if someone's trying to hack into your device and use your fingerprint, um, there's actually the standard is 0.002%. So essentially it could never happen. Um, so that's extremely important when you're reviewing all of your biometric solutions for, for how you would like to move forward in your, in your uh, ecosystem.